the guy is selling things on the internet only seven years ago, telling people that if you drink this, it cures cancer. Who are you? You've got your perspective. I just want to be happy. Don't you want to be happy? That's it. We won. See ya. All right. Bye. Hello. How are you? How's the day going? Good. Good? Awesome. Awesome. Great. So, uh, in this part, I'd love for you to go around and give me some context on who you are um, and what you do. And then we'll go back around and I will, you know, I think this is where you need to go very selfish and specific. Obviously, it's unlikely that you're here without some solid level of context of who I am in theories. I think this is where we can get very, very, very detailed. Uh, So, go very, very, very selfish with the question and we'll see how many times we can go around. So. Uh, 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 you didn't say the magic word. Uh, Please! Uh, 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 God uh, damn it! Uh, uh, uh. Good to see you, bro. How are you? Uh, Great to see you. Yeah, Great to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Oh so my god. Of course. Of course. Amazing. Of course. We yes. had yeah. like such a breakthrough after the 40s. Yeah. And with the guidance and advice you gave us. And so we've been doing that. We're actually like literally signing the lease for our second location right now. Um, and the other thing that was makes me happy. <laughs> we listen. We listen. You know, that's and the b- the yeah. biggest vulnerability to my entire life yeah. is the part that happens after I say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like yeah. Yeah. it makes me really happy you're doing that. We and thought, total- what can we bring you? We we actually just wanted to prove our results. That's Based that's the what, I that's, and yeah. I, you've got me so pegged. Yeah. I want nothing. But somebody well, we've got com- some cookies. Too. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, but it's but. it's really like it's the. Do you know what it feels like to know like your business life is better, and probably your life is better because you listen to the right. Str- like it's yeah. it's the best mm-hmm. feeling. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It just made so much sense. I do have a quick question about regarding influencers because you're doing a lot more of that lately. We are. Yeah. And we're attracting some pretty big people with like huge followings. How thoughtful should you be about using influencers, meaning that if someone could potentially be a little controversial, is that potentially negative for the brand? Yeah, sure it could be. What I was saying to the crew, and the crew all nodded, and I reinforced a big thesis of mine, the market won't be mad at you for things you can't control. But if you're looking the other way, because you care about your business, but you don't care about that racial slur, or that scam they ran, because you want the thing, they will not forgive you for that. So it depends on what you decide is controversial. Okay. Now, if you're if you're controversial because his his training tactic is not like, and you believe in it, that's different. Do you okay. see where yeah, I'm going? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, if is it business controversial or is it like cold, like I'm controversial in marketing? In the marketing world, a lot of people think I'm completely full of shit because they're wrong. You know, like like I really mean that. So like that you know is his technique of training a dog or feeding a dog a thing yeah. is that what's controversial? But you agree with it? Oh. Or is it like, he punched a woman and you're like, fuck that. Yeah. Got yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. So to me, you've got to context it. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Sure. Good to see you. Thank you. Great to see you again. I'm so happy things are going well. Makes me happy. Makes me happy. Nice to meet you. Gary. Gary, Mike. Mike, how are you? Nice to meet you. Monica, so nice to meet you. What's going on? Trevor. Trevor, nice so nice to meet, you, to meet you. Just give me a few seconds. Sure. Thank you guys. Today was a good day to just get like some meetings in just to get back on the field. So what were you Martha. doing in LA then? Well, we have, a, we have a big office there. Sure. So, so just normal, office. normal VaynerMedia stuff. We had a 4Ds in LA. Cool. What can I answer? What can I answer? Let's, let's bounce around. We got plenty of time. I got one question. Go ahead. The only question I have. Go ahead. What is your what thoughts on the comeback of Sounds too good to be true, because that's the only hurdle I have. Because the math is right, the teaching's right, education. You're gonna right, you're gonna appreciate my answer. I, I have a very good answer for you. I would spend zero seconds convincing people. The reply is like, I respect and understand and have empathy for why you think that. Looking forward to conversating with you in 22 years. Just don't spend any minutes. Go focus on everybody who is already considering. Thank you. It, it will really work for you. 
it's, it's been my life. I've been able to win selling the current because I go into a meeting with and in five minutes be like, fuck, this is not gonna work and turning an hour meeting into a 30 minute meeting because I cordially want to leave the meeting because I already know I'm in a place where it's no. And I have no emotion to getting them to yes. Because history will prove that I was right. And so die on your sword, you know? You're a Patriots fan? I'm a Tom Brady. Oh, but why? That's oh, yeah. just, that's <laughs> super bandwagon, right? No. You better, have go, you better have gone to Michigan. No, nope. Arizona State. I heard. Because I believe, <laughs> <laughs> I believe in discipline and exactness in everything you do. Brother, there's a ton of discipline and exactness Not on like the Arizona he's, Cardinals. He's the least athletic human being in the whole world and still wins. And you that know, takes a special skill set. I have to be brain. very transparent about this. I think it's been crazy that he's willing to back Guerrero when Guerrero is like clearly not a good human being. I'm so excited for the Balco, Barry Bonds moment for Tom Brady. I think Tom, I, I, I genuinely, this is like even on film, I genuinely think Tom's a good dude. I think he's made a humongous vulnerability to his legacy in associating so deeply with a guy who is clearly not good. Your chance to drink this water. Crazy. I'm like fascinated. I'm like watching, like in a world where, like I said it earlier, where I see a lot of kinships with me and him, I'm like, why in a world, like back to like, when you have, when you don't, I'm, I'm, I'm dying to know how the story plays out because nothing makes sense with his association with that guy. He is in business with a guy who is. Like back to internet marketing and like all the shit I care about, like don't be that guy. That's what that guy is. The guy is selling things on the internet only seven years ago, telling people that if you drink this, it cures cancer. Yeah. Who <laughs> are you? And Brady to me, I, I, I know part. you do. I, it's why I'm leaning into it because I can tell you, you do. To me in a world where he's done everything right, I can't wrap my head around why. And it is gonna be interesting how it plays out. I agree. I, I think that like, look, I think Brady is suspendable because he's associating with him such a bad guy. And so my intuition is he doesn't get suspended but in two years like he could have, like, like I think he's putting himself in a place that he doesn't need to be in. Like that's my life at this point. Don't do anything that makes you vulnerable to the fact you've done everything right for 25 years. Why would I do that at this point? I might as well have done everything wrong for the last 25 years to do one singular deal. It's back to mentors. No. SMBs. Makes sense, right? No. I, I, and I can't wrap my head around why in a world where I think he's been brilliant and is probably a good dude based on everything I know, which I hate, uh, uh, that part about him. Jordan, hating Jordan's been great. Like anybody that actually knows who he is, he's, a, he's an outrageously bad dude. <laughs> like in real That's life. Easier. Whereas Brady's just not. And this Guerrero thing is really, I've been like pumped about it. I'm like, why is he doing this? It's amazing. Like I think, I, I do think all of you in like six years when there's like a big expose, you're gonna be like, oh shit. Like, cause I just think he can't win that game. Bad is bad. And Guerrero's bad. I'm trying to encourage people that are happy and are good to share a little bit more of that. We're so quick to say fuck you Delta and Starbucks, but we never say like, nobody's tweeting like how kind, D-Rock will tweet about the person complaining because we're so on the same page about ice at Starbucks a couple hours ago. But it's not our natural reaction to say, oh, great job by the man in front of me who opened the door for the late. It's just not what we do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm thinking a lot about that. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. Looking for what's wrong. We don't talk about good, we talk about bad. Yeah. And people that are really unhappy talk a lot about it. My first speech ever in 2007, I get an email, come to our internet conference. So I think it's internet marketing. (laughs) What it was was internet marketing. Rip off! Bless you. So I get there, I'll never forget it. I'm like, what the fuck am I, where am I? I'm like, is this like the fucking red light district? Like, you know, like I was like, I was freaked. Cause I didn't even know it existed. And I looked around the room and like what I saw was people that buy lottery tickets, right? And so I went up to the guy and I was like, and I had the check, I'll never forget it, and I was like, 
I don't want to speak. And he was like super like, it was interesting. I caught the guy at the right time too. He goes, what do you mean? Like we talked like at the AV station before I was supposed to go on. And I'm like, I'm not gonna do what that guy just did. I'm like, that's, uh, do you understand that if I take the stage right now, I'm gonna spend an hour shitting on everybody who just spoke and breaking this whole thing? And I don't wanna be disrespectful to you. I appreciate you flying me out here. You pay me a lot of money. I wanna give you back the money because I'm not gonna speak. I need to leave. And the guy goes, do it. I was like, dude, I'm serious. And he's like, do it. And I went up there and fucking destroyed the four speakers before. I basically said they were full of shit. Like, why would you buy a thousand dollar DVD? There's this new thing called the internet. It's 2007, I'm like, this Twitter thing's gonna be big, YouTube's real. And people, didn't, I mean, back to like the thing you saw, that was 11, this was at seven. Wow. Same shit. People are like, it'd be literally like me tomorrow going on stage and be like, all right, listen, Mars, right? Here's how you wanna think about Mars. And everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> That's literally what it was. Like, being a con artist or full of shit is really good in the short term. The reason I leave money on the table is because I want a statue. Legacy over currency. 100%.